help. <laughs> I don't want to do this. It's real fire. Finally getting out this tool set that has not been used <laughs> since I bought it. Oh, who am I? <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Um, hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. And as you can see by the title, this video is all about decorating my flat. Um, it's like the 2nd of January today when I'm finally recording the intro for this video because I just realised as I was editing it that I didn't actually have an introduction. Basically, as you know, I used to live in like a whole, like just... The Lord delivered me, you guys. I used to live in a place that I really didn't love. Um, and I moved into a really nice flat that I do love. Watch my moving vlog if you haven't already. Um, and I decided to decorate the place because I love pretty stuff. I love interior design and I'm just so, so grateful to God. I wanted to make this place feel like a home. And so I vlogged that process. However, when I started, I had no idea how long it takes to decorate a place and make it your own, especially when you're on a budget because like stuff is expensive. So I vlogged that process and it actually took like months. It's been months <laughs> of vlogging, picking up the camera every time I edit something in the flat. But I would say the flat is just about ready, I think, to film a flat tour, which I will do hopefully tomorrow. But I thought it'd be really good to just vlog the process of how I have been decorating my flat and I'm really glad I did actually. I hope that you enjoy it and get maybe some, I don't know, I wouldn't say tips because I'm no professional, but just enjoy it really because I enjoyed it and you know, that's what friends do, right? They enjoy stuff together. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you do like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. My lips are so dry. Enjoy this video. Okay, thanks. Bye. This is what my house looks like at the moment. Um, my house, <laughs> my flat. And it's not that bad, you know? I, I'm so grateful. I love this place. But having been here for, what, two, almost three months now, I feel like I want to make it a bit more me. When I moved in, I tried to do as much as I could as soon as I moved in. Even though I was on nights, I literally just didn't sleep for a week. And I changed the curtains, those are now white. Um, the flowers are new, the plant is new. A lot of the bits and bobs in the kitchen, obviously, are mine, all my appliances and stuff. Um, I've put my guitar up there on a stand. I got the rug, um, the cushions, the beautiful Wilbur the Bear, as named by you on Instagram. <laughs> These side stools are all mine as well, and the plants and stuff. Um, a little bath mat, <laughs> just for when I go out on the balcony, and it's a bit dirty when I come back in. And then the chairs and table out on the balcony, I also have added. As much as I love the place, I just feel like it's still so bare. Like, that is just... No pun intended, Wilbur. Um, but it's just still so plain. I really want some artwork hanging up on the walls. I just want more like trinkets and I really want this place to feel like home. This sofa is the most comfortable sofa ever. I don't love the colour, especially with the colours of the walls, but this is a rented place. I'm not going to go crazy, so that's okay. But the brown cushions on it make me angry. That makes me angry, so I need to change those because I just, I don't love it. Also, this whole wire thing here is really kind of bothering me. It's just really not great. However, the only place that I can plug in the TV is over there, and then I just don't know how to hide these wires. It's not working. It really annoys me. So I've been thinking of moving the TV from here to over there and moving the sofa so that it's across here. However, that will kind of close up the whole room and remove the open space vibe, you know, if you walk in and there's a sofa along here instead. Also, one thing I really love about the living room is how I can cut up on the sofa and still have that insane view out of the window. Um, whereas if the sofa was along there, you know, straight across there, and the TV was by there, I wouldn't have that view anymore. But then maybe I could put in a little sofa here. I don't know, it's all very much still up in the air. Another thing that I want to do is this corner. I want it to be cute and nice, and right now it's super boring. So I think having a mirror there would be really nice, really open up the room, make it look a lot bigger. The reflection on the mirror would be beautiful as well with the curtains and the view. So a mirror up there would be great. And maybe a few pictures hanging down there. 
on this wall I want to do three different pictures there um, that I'm going to try and paint myself I will show you those probably in a different video and then on here I want to try and put up such some little shelves and some little trinkets but that all depends I don't know it all depends on whether I move the sofa and the TV who knows because those wires are doing really doing the most and I don't love it um, I'm also thinking of putting a clock up I feel like a statement clock that comes off the wall would be so so beautiful like a silver spiky I don't know some kind of clock would be great as well and then is my room now it's a little bit all over the place at the moment <laughs> um, I'm doing some laundry so my sheets aren't on the bed um, and my desk oh my goodness so bad such a mess I just need to sort this place out don't get me wrong I love it I think it's got a lot of potential I've already again done a lot in here I've put in the mirror the decorations added a little falling curtain the chair the plants the rug and the desk used to be somewhere else I bought the chair that chair as well so I've done a lot in here but it's just still not very livable I think the reason I feel like it's not livable is because of this desk thing <laughs> I've been trying to have both a get ready desk so a dressing mirror and a work desk and it has resulted in being neither so I've got my big screen there which I now never use all my makeup and beauty stuff is just a mess um so what I'm thinking of doing, and also the lighting there sucks so bad. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting a small little desk. I don't know how it will fit all my makeup stuff on. and putting it there because then I get the light from the window when I'm doing my makeup. So I always do my makeup in a natural light because the lights in this room are quite yellow. Um, and then I'll just need a little stool. Now, I don't know how that's all going to fit. It might be a little bit cramped, but that would really free up this desk to being just... A desk where I can actually do some work and then we've got the bathroom which to be honest is pretty boring and plain I don't massively want to change a lot in here I do already have some mats obviously they're just as I said I'm doing laundry so they're in the laundry room right now one thing I do need to pick up though is another holder because I got one holder but it's not enough so I need to buy another one of those for all the rest of my bits and bobs that I use regularly and then we have my walk-in wardrobe which again I'm so so grateful to God for and um, it's semi-organized not as organized as it could be but it's better than it has been um I've just got a little thing full of stuff there I want that mirror actually up on the wall so I can see obviously my whole outfit and I also want to paint this mirror because it is so old I think I've had this since like first year of uni and I think I just stole it from a random room in my parents house um but it is like the most ugly boring chipped wood and so I think like a metallic kind of rustic paint on there would look cute um and I think that's all I'm gonna do for this wardrobe because I think to be honest I found it difficult enough just keeping it tidy with my messy habits so just putting the mirror up would be great um I think for now last but not least we have the entrance to the flat which I love because it's such a good space I think it really makes this flat look like it means business when you have space just for space sake I think that's cool however I low-key hate it it's so dark in here it's always so dark and so gloomy I mean that is a pretty light but it's just dark and there's nothing on the walls again I've got this little thing but I haven't really decorated it I've just kind of put my old plant there and a candle on there and a card and it's just very boring I've got the coat rack there and the shoe rack which is all good um, but what I'm thinking is I usually really like to be able to see myself before I go out now I know you're probably thinking that's super vain but a mirror here I think would really nicely open out the space again and allow me to see myself before I go out so from a practical point of view I know that might be a bit creepy walking in through the front door and then seeing a mirror straight away but at the same time I feel like that's gonna what I'm gonna do and then maybe get a few little trinkets to put on here and on the walls I don't know we'll see how it goes but that is the plan so far mission redecorate let's go okay so I've just picked up a few frames from Wilco and um, so I've got these frames which I'm going to use to decorate the corner of my room and just kind of mix them all up with the sizes and the colors I think that's super cute I think I'm going to do my own original artwork to go inside because I feel like it will mean more to me um, and have like pictures of my family maybe keep like a black and white monochrome vibe yay nay then I went to Home Bargains and picked up a lot of stuff for the bathroom so I am going to be having baths a lot more regularly so I've just got this oh, let me rip it open this little 
container with a load of bath bombs I'll probably only use the big one and then I've got just some more practical stuff so some scrubs um, a little side rack so I need another one for the bathroom some small hand towels because I've just been using my normal towels and they don't look as cute as well as it's annoying to have to wash a whole towel um, every time I do that and then I've got these super cute shelves like little three shelf things which look really cute there and I think will look really good on that wall by there excuse the mess I think that will look super cute then I've got three wick candles which I am obsessing over right now some more frames which again were super cheap like a pound or something um, and just like the get again the different like depths and uh, textures I'm gonna love mixing those up hey how's it going I've just got back from training so please ignore the sweaty face. It is Monday evening, 12th of November. Last weekend, I bought some stuff for the house to carry on with decorating. So it's been a slow process, mainly because financially I can't, couldn't really afford to like buy everything at the same time. So I've been buying it in drips and drabs. Part of me is like, I actually wanna see what this place looks like when it's done. And I totally get it now when it comes to moving and decorating and kind of creating a home. It takes quite a while, which I didn't think it would, but um, it's taken a while, but it's getting there slowly but surely and I'm so excited to show you guys the final decorated place. So I have got these flowers. So fake flowers, even though I decided that I hate them because real ones just don't live long enough and it's super expensive. So some fake flowers for my room, some frames in which I can put some pictures and I even bought a hammer because I'm going to try and hang my own pictures as it has recently come to my attention that the fact that I can't hang a picture or change a light bulb or do anything practical, all the stuff that my dad used to do at home growing up, um, apparently that's not normal. Um, a young woman should be able to fend for herself. So I've just got a load of nails and I'm going to attempt to hang some frames. God help me. This, which is a dressing table, I think. Let me just, I feel like there is a picture on the box there we go yeah I got this dressing table which to be honest was more expensive than I'd have liked to spend it was from um, home bargains and um, but it comes with the stool the desk and the mirror so I want to clear that of all my makeup set up the desk over there which will be right by the window um, and that way I can kind of put the desk right there and then I get natural light while I'm doing my makeup. I'll just shuffle the mirror over and I think I can have like a little getting ready corner there. Yeah, the plan is to get these into some of the frames. I really hope they fit. Um, and then just put the pictures up on the wall by there. Oh, by the way, I added some fairy lights down here. I really love this corner. There's some candles in the basket by there, which I can just kind of pop out when I want to get a little cosy. And this is like my little reading chair, which is great because I literally never read. <laughs> and then this, by the way, I made the other day. It's literally just, I just painted on with oil paint. He would leave the 99 on a white piece of card. Um, because I was listening to a message uh, from Revelation Church by, I think his name is Mike Todd. He's so wonderful. Like this blessing stored up for that man in heaven are going to be incredible. Um, and it was basically saying about how much God loves us. And he, he just said like, he would leave the 99. And it just, it really hit me. You know, you know those moments where you're just struck with God's love for you and how much he loves you. And I was like, wow, God would leave the 99 for me. God really cares about me. He loves me. So I just, while I was listening to the message, I just wrote it down, put it in a frame and put it on there. Every day when I see that, I'm just like so blessed by God's love for me. And I want to see that. I want to, I want to feel that every day. So I love that. And there's the artwork. I got three for 30 pounds actually, because I bargained with it a bit. <laughs> and so I just got these three prints, which I actually, absolutely adore and I bought them at Black Girl Fest. I think they are so beautiful. My plan was actually to put up some neutral stuff and I was going to put up some black and white pictures of my family in like nude beige grey frames. Um, but then I saw these and I was like actually do you know what? This is it. This is me. I'm not, I'm not boring I don't think. I think I love colour. I love meaning. I love culture. I love the boldness that this represents. So yeah, that is the basic plan. I'm going to try and hang some photos now. Um, please don't judge me. This could go a little bit pear-shaped. So this 
is what it looks like as it is, but you know, that's a little bit not how I wanted it. I want that picture lower, I think. I think that would work, or maybe I should leave it like that. I have no idea. <laughs> Finally getting out this tool set that has not been used <laughs> since I bought it. Oh, who am I? <laughs> I'm going to try to assemble my dressing table in this little space here. So if you want to see um, what the plan is, I've moved my mirror a little bit and we'll just have a little dressing table there. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the instructions here. My fire alarm is working, thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna just face that away from me. This goes up to 1,500 degrees Celsius. What the hell? That's the child lock. Oh my God! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Look how yummy that looks. So pretty. Oh, whoops. Just grab the camera and show you guys up close what this looks like. Like, can you see that? Is that focusing well? It's just beautiful. The colors literally just blend by themselves. And that is what I wanted. That is what I wanted on my wall. I think that's gonna look really good. So, so good. I wish it was more of a progression, but I mean, that is literally my first one. So I'm not gonna, not gonna do what I tend to do, which is be really self-critical. Just gonna, might put a bit more heat on it and just let that sit. pretty much it um i really enjoyed the process of decorating this flat i'm super excited to show you guys the product i just need to like you know do that filming for you um yeah thank you so much for watching i love you so so much uh i love you i love you i have said that three times so i'm gonna go i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>